now before we continue someone said to me and I'm still I'm waiting for the Muslims to call us to speak about this topic someone said to me that the Quran like uh, you know he said do you want me to show you something good about the Quran I said yes he said I want to show you the Quran stop you know uh, 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 like force the Arab to stop killing their babies let us see how is that <clears throat> I hope the the, uh, the landscape company is not making a bad noise I hope so the Muslims they spread around <clears throat> a lie and they believe in a lie as usual nothing new and we are here to get the lies busted they say to us that the Quran stopped the Arab from doing a very bad habit what is that habit the Arab they used to kill their babies chapter 81 verse number 8 translation when the female infant buried alive is asked this is my challenge to all the Abdul in the world. I want you to show me in the verse the word female and the word infant and if you do so I'm going to shave my 20 foot beard who want to do that who is the Abdul who want to be my hero and he want to show me where we can find the word female and the word infant is that a fabrication maybe maybe anyone anyone want to come and tell us look what the Muslims did, did to fabricate a lie claiming that the Quran is teaching a good morality saying that the Quran stopped killing babies because the Arab used to kill their babies female babies specifically and they add and they fabricate words is not exist in the Quran this is why I say if you don't speak Arabic you will be doomed when you try to understand this cult because Muslims are people who translate to deceive not to translate who is the Muslim wanna call me and show me the word female and the word infant any Abdul my Skype is open and I have a challenge to, um, to, the, to the billion Abdul to show me the word female and the word infant in the verse. Now, if the word female and infant is not in the verse, where you came with this from? Hello? Stupidity is what I fight. The verse in the Quran, it says, وَإِذَا الْمَوْؤُودَةُ Buried. al is, is the soul of a man or the body of a man which is buried in the grave. They, you know that the angels will ask you in what in what guilt you been killed for this is have nothing to do with babies and this is have nothing to do with females and this is a stupid explanation is not a true and let me show you how stupid that is if the girls of the Arab are killed then who is the father of Muhammad and who is the mother of Muhammad? Who is the mother of Khadija? How Khadija came to life? How the women, how the women in Arabia they came to life? How the Muslims they say to us we marry more women because there is more men, more women, more than men. Is that correct? If people are killing their baby girls, so who is my mother and your mother? Where do you get this from? That is a big fat lie. What the verse is speaking of that when somebody is killed in the judgment day God will question who killed you and why he killed you al mawuda is the dead body is not a child and Muslims are lying to you and as you see we are here making a challenge but you will not find any Muslim he have the courage to stand up and say okay I want to challenge you uh, let me go to Skype where is the name of this guy he was calling me yesterday and being annoying. I will be sure he is unblocked so he can call. Actually, I am going to unblock all the Abdul to give them a chance to prove to us that Islam is not a stupid religion. Let us see. Where is this guy name? Muhammad. All right. Muslima, Muslima. Okay, Muslima, Muslima. Uh, look like, no, I did not block him actually. Okay. Is not blocked. All right. Do we have any Muslim? No. This is a big fat lie, and Muslims they should be ashamed of lying to us. You see that the problem with Muslims, they are people who they are disconnected with their cult. They have a total disconnection between Islam and Muslims. Muslims are people who live fantasy. It's called Islam. But what they live today have nothing to do with Islam. Have nothing to do. Period. With what it's called, Islam. 
and I can prove that everything the Muslims they understand today about their religion even the one who's trying to be decent with you is not a true not a single Muslim he understand what Islam is about do you remember do you remember when we ask uh, uh, dr. Rohi who is a PhD holder in Islam you know we ask him okay what is Allah he said nobody knows what Allah we ask him what is Allah mean he said Allah is a word said by an Arab guy we do not know who this is an answer of somebody he have a PhD in Islam and he wrote books about Islam look how they fool you when they give interpretation for the verse I want the Muslim to show me the reference of this where they get this from that this is about a child who is buried that's a big fat lie liars liars will end in fire you see they are, they say a child girl was buried alive look how evil they are you know alive they are burying the girl alive what a lie who want to name for me the Arab who bury their daughters anyone who is the Muslim want to call me and give me some examples some names in the Arabic history of people who bury their daughters because if this is true it's when you Muslim you lie to us you say that we marry more women because there is more ma ma less men than women if people are carrying are, are killing their baby daughters that's mean we should have the opposite we should have a lot less women from men right 